Given the general form of a polynomial, state the leading coefficient, degree, and constant term of the polynomial. A polynomial has the form shown, where a n is the leading coefficient of the polynomial, and a0 is the constant term of the polynomial. All of the polynomial coefficients must be real numbers. The degree of the polynomial is the highest exponent, n. The graph of a polynomial must be smooth so there are no sharp corners. This means polynomials can't have the shape of an absolute value graph. The graph of a polynomial must also be continuous. In other words, it must be possible to draw the graph without lifting the pencil. This means a polynomial graph can't have asymptotes, so reciprocal shapes are not allowed. Now we'll look at some examples of polynomials. We'll start with the function f of x equals 3x minus 2. If we compare 3x minus 2 with the general form of a polynomial, we can see that a1 equals 3 and a0 equals negative 2. The leading coefficient is 3, the degree is 1, and the constant term is negative 2. Next, we have y equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 1. In a comparison with the general form of a polynomial, we can see that a3 equals 1, a2 equals 2, a1 equals negative 1, and a0 equals negative 1. The leading coefficient is 1, the degree is 3, and the constant term is negative 1. And finally, we'll look at p of x equals 5. In a comparison with the general form of a polynomial, we can see that a0 equals 5. p of x equals 5 is the same as p of x equals 5x to the power of 0. The leading coefficient is 5, the degree is 0, and the constant term is 5. Note that polynomial functions can be expressed just like any other function using things like f of x, y, or p of x on the left side. Now we'll move on to part b. Determine which expressions are polynomials. Explain your reasoning. Our first expression is x to the power of 5 plus 3. Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is a polynomial. The exponent of the variable is a whole number. Our next expression is 5 to the power of x plus 3. Is this a polynomial? No, the exponent is a variable, not a whole number. The next expression is the constant 3. Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is the same as 3x to the power of 0. Next, we have 4x squared minus 5x to the power of 1 half minus 1. Is this a polynomial? No, the exponent is a fraction, not a whole number. Next, we have x squared plus 1 over 3x minus 4. Is this a polynomial? Yes, a polynomial may have fractional coefficients.
Is the absolute value of x a polynomial? No, since the graph has a sharp corner. Now we have the expression 5 times the square root of x minus 1. Is this a polynomial? The radical will give x a fractional exponent. The exponent of the variable is not a whole number, so this is not a polynomial. Next we have the square root of 7 times x plus 2. Is this a polynomial? Yes, a polynomial may have radical coefficients. And finally, we have the rational expression 1 over x plus 3. Is this a polynomial? The graph is discontinuous at x equals negative 3 with a vertical asymptote, so this is not a polynomial.